Well, welcome everyone. This is Sandra Alexei from My Personal Muse. Okay. If you go to un underneath, um, you will see where you can um, see my website. Okay. And what it does is it gives you all of the services I provide, the different things I've done, my testimonials. That's www.mypersonalnews.com. Okay. Basically, um, I am a, I'm a star seed. I'm a muse. I'm an educator. I'm an author. Um, I'm a lot of things. I've, I've been very blessed to have a lot of experiences. You can see. Um, what they are. And if you go to the top right-hand corner, you'll see my latest book that I co-authored. It's called Game Changer. And it's the new model of relationships for the Aquarian age, okay? On my website, you'll see the other books that I have written. I was very, very much involved in the professional beauty industry as a master judge, as a consultant, as built spas. So like I say, I've got lots of, of different um, skills. Now, I have just been through, today is June, I think the 8th or 9th or 10th. I have moved, my physical move, okay? I've moved from the Edmonton area down to Medicine Hat, which is totally new for me. And I did it for a number of reasons, okay? It wasn't just something I woke up one day and said it was going to happen. First and foremost, I'm going through a real process. I had um, a new computer. My new computer had challenges. I had to have it totally wiped out, put together, number one. Number two, I have moved down here. Number three, I'm not in the apartment that I need to be. So I'm in transition until July 1st. I have not had my computer to be able well then I didn't have internet for a while so you see lots of challenges the one thing I do know is I have to go with the flow what did I learn from it and where am I at right now so today is the first time that I've been able to do um a video for a long time so I'm very excited because we're in some very exciting times and I've got a couple of people I want to interview and I haven't had the chance so get ready it's a game changer we've got lots happening we're halfway through um, the year um, so I'm going to give you an astrological weather report on June 9th I guess it is it's the first time in 28 years that Saturn is going to retrograde in Pisces. So this is a major life-changing event. The game is over. This is the Saturn retrograde dates. March 7th, 2023, Saturn entered Pisces for the first time in 28 years, beginning a new cycle. What lessons and events have taken place since then? June 17th, 2023, Saturn stations regret the same day as the new moon. Okay, it's a new moon in Gemini, and it heightens its energy. Then October 12th to November 27th, 2023, Saturn reaches a zero degrees of Pisces, a highly karmic degree that can stir karmic events and trigger the intensity of lessons. Saturn has you confirmed any karma that you have created and what's happening karmically in the collective. November 3rd, 2023, Saturn stations direct. February 7th and 8th on 2023, Saturn leaves its post or 2024, Saturn leaves its post-retrograde um, shadow. I have to change that on my, my um, document I posted. So the moon in Gemini will join the sun, forming a new moon in the sky, assisting us in seeing through foggy Neptune. 
So June 17th, Saturn goes retrograde at seven degrees of Pisces, bound for the underworld until November 4th of 2023, when it goes direct at zero degrees of Pisces. Saturn is the planet of karma, the master teacher of the zodiac. We also will experience the new moon at 20, 26 degrees of Gemini on June 17th which intensifies the Saturn retrograde as important truths and events will be relieved, revealed. Lies, illusions, as Pisces can be a very dreamy energy, can represent delusion, deception, unsavory events, mistakes, any corruption, defamation, propaganda. Since the past 28 years, and especially the last three years, the planet Neptune, which rules Pisces, reminds me of a cloud. You cannot see through it. Sometimes we cannot see. So we are asked to become more aware and mindful so we get more clarity of truth personally and collectively, which will be shown, shown and revealed within the next four months. Everything exposed. Neptune, which rules Pisces, will be going retrograde on June 30th, 2023 at 27 degrees of Pisces, and then direct in December 6th of 2023 at 24 degrees. I'll have another video. Pluto, which rules Scorpio, is still retrograde and moves to zero degrees Capricorn from Aquarius on June 12th, it did, until October 11th, when it turns direct to 27 degrees of Capricorn. So we can expect another Another a lot of, of stuff being revealed. We're all awaiting the movement. Pluto into Aquarius on January 22, 2024, at zero degrees in Aquarius for 20 years. We have had we have had Pluto in Capricorn since 2008, and it was for us to see a lot of truth. Day 22 is a master number. If you have your natal charts, check what house or houses Saturn and the moon will be visiting or playing for your own good. Messages to take seriously in June of 2023. Then we have the nodal axis shifting. Wow, new energy for 18 months. A special post on that, a shift in destiny. Retrogrades have us go back. In Saturn, we're being asked to rethink, reorganize, and re-edit. Saturn retrograde is about shaking things up with its own planetary power. Retrogrades in Saturn, the planet of karma, means all truth must be revealed, acknowledged, cleared, and healed during this time frame. So expect a lot of shocking shifts. Saturn retrograde also affects your personal karmic destiny, which gives you more clarity on life events for you, like pieces of a puzzle that show up. Saturn also rules boundaries. So you're really assessing relationships, your personal relationships with self. It's time to cut the cords on toxic relations, Ships clear the karma, as you will also clear out enslavement codes, ancestral codes, and personal karma. Awesome. You may feel tired as you're dealing with a lot of energy blocks. It's all toxic relationships of all kinds, like energy vampires. You will feel tired after being with them are being revealed. Whenever Saturn is active, it can bring about some harsh awakenings, but also many rewards. If we're willing to take responsibility, own up to your decisions and actions, and learn to create boundaries. So the question is, have you done your homework and embraced any lessons? Usually your intuition was giving you signals. You did not want to listen. Now the truth is revealed. As Saturn travels retrograde, it guides us to look over our past actions and see where we have avoided or perhaps forgotten to take responsibility or set boundaries. As our master teacher, Saturn looks back over the last few months, checking to see if we've done our homework and they're embracing the lessons provided. What issues, events, people came to the surface that you may not want to accept? Well, now the truth is revealed. We have been working with activating our inner voice, our intuition, our authenticity, and our sovereignty. It's an awesome time to do shadow work. You may be experiencing some energy of the dark night of the soul, which is giving you messages, which you may not want to listen to. 
If you feel stuck, you're meant to be as you are to see something. New beginnings. Now the new moon in Gemini at 26 degrees of Gemini on June 17th is always a cosmic turning point with new energies as we embrace a new cycle. New moons are about planting new seeds and creating new intentions. And since Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is communication, a thought or an idea which planted, then allowing these plans, intentions, and invocations to unfold, truths will come up. Possibly eliminate, illuminating a fear is an excellent time to ask for it to be shown. What needs to be changed for you? As we're being reprogrammed and rewired with new frequencies, it shows what you have been working on. As you come back to your sense of self, you embrace your personal power. You will have realizations of what to release and let go and embrace. Be the game changer of power. Be prepared for miracles and magic. The game is over in the collective as lies, corruption, control over deceit, etc. all exposed. I want to thank you for taking your time. And I would appreciate it. I forgot to ask previously if you would like the video, if you would comment. I do a mini um, reading once a month. I do a draw for anybody that comments. Like it if you would share and totally appreciate if you would subscribe to the U channel. Okay. Also, check out Game Changer on top. Uh, the first relationship, it's a relationship of remembering the first relationship is with ourselves. So June 17th, game over, lies, deception, karma with Saturn retrograde at seven degrees Pisces and a wonderful new moon at 26 degrees of Gemini. Many blessings and much love.